to call the analysis cube. Now, the analysis cube is some kind of way. If uh, it's uh, if we if you went to to Wikipedia, for example, uh, the analysis cube is a is a it's a data structure that allows fast analysis of data. It can also be defined as the capacity of manipulating and analyzing data from multiple perspectives. The arrangement of data into cubes overcomes the limitation of relational databases. Now, what this basically means is uh, analyzing data, analyzing company data using the analysis cube takes away, takes away the limitations of having to analyze data from one database. It takes away the limitation of having to to analyze data from only one data source that means you can combine numerous databases and then have them on some kind of logical view now when you have them on a logical view then you can combine all sorts of data coming from numerous sources and have it all analyzed on one grid now this information that you see in excel is is actually the analysis cube uh, now the way you get the analysis in a, in a short while i will be showing you how to design the analysis cube how i came and designed it but in a, what you really are seeing here is uh, is is the cube itself now the way to get the analysis cube well, let me first show you the cube itself you design it from uh, from a business intelligence platform uh, this that you see here is a business intelligence platform now the platform uh, actually is made up what we call uh, uh, a set of components. We, 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 we first of all have to define a data source, then a data source view, and then the cube itself and the dimensions. Now, in addition to the dimensions, we can also have uh, measures. You s can look at the measures on this side now. The cube itself, like I told you, has a data source. Now, the way to create a data source is get to, to data source designer, uh, passing authentication for for how to reach the server name on which the databases or the set of databases have been stored. Now when you get to that level you will pass in the authentication and create a uh, create a data source. You can uh, you can uh, you can specify the server name in this case I'll leave it at local, put it at Windows authentication depending on what priority you want, then specify the database I'm using at the VentureWorks DW Cube. And when you have everything clear, you can test the connection. And when you have the connection, test connection succeeded. Have the connection, you're free to go. Now that actually means that you have a connection to your databases. It doesn't matter. There could be 10, 20, 30 databases. As long as the information you are trying to analyze is coming from each of those databases, you can add up table together. This could be a table from an Oracle database, a table from an SQL database, access, even Excel, and even flat files from uh, uh, that are readable by text files that are readable by a notepad, non-delimited. It could be all sorts of, so you have a whole grid of data from multiple data sources. And you have it, actually what you're looking at here is uh, the data source view. Let me uh, probably expand it for you. <coughs> so this is what will combine all of the tables from all the sources that you you are trying to, to to merge up together and then you create dimensions now we can look at dimensions better from this side now dimensions are uh, are qualitative they are qualitative components of the cube on the other hand if you are uh, if you looked at uh, at the measures on the other hand if you looked at the measures let me get to the cube itself uh, if you looked at the measures, the measures are quantitative. Talk about sales amount, unit price, extended amount, unit price discount. These are quantitative. They have figures in them, order quantity. But when you look at uh, when you look at this, the, the the dimensions, the dimensions are qualitative, like sales territory, due date, the customer, customer's name, stuff like that. Now, so you will create everything here. You will create the whole cube, the entire cube here. But you are able to browse or analyze the data of the cube using excel this is how you go get the uh, cube data from via excel you come down to analysis services come down to analysis services specify the server name you remember we from our connections we <coughs> we actually specified the 
the server name you should remember very well let me take you there in a minute you remember the the very server name you place here is the server name that you will be required actually including the database so it will ask you for the server name and when you have the server name passing all the same authentications that you created when you are trying to create the connection from the data source then it will allow you to get into the database and pick this data what it does is actually it picks the data and brings it into excel as a pivot table so you have the data as a pivot table and uh, can you begin browsing Begin browsing now <coughs> this is how you browse this is probably how you browse and, uh, and analyze data from an analysis cube say you want to understand the nature of your customers and uh, you have customers who actually have houses uh, and you've uh, created a, a dimension such that customers with houses have a one flag customers without houses have a zero flag so <coughs> zero will actually mean they don't have houses one will mean they have houses so you may want to understand of the customers with houses how many of them are single and how many are married and uh, probably out of uh, so we will get that picture uh, we will get that picture and you'll probably analyze them on the measure of uh, of the sales amount so literally you're saying that out of the customers who do not have houses the sales we got from the uh, from the marriage is slightly above two million and the sales we got from singles is uh, slightly above six million so in a way singles uh, do more purchases than marriage in the aspect of those who do not have houses when you get to the other aspect of those with houses actually the marriage purchase a little more than uh, than the singles but maybe that's not enough and uh, probably there could be a relationship in terms of uh, the number of cars owned. so we bring in the issue of the number of cars <coughs> and uh, literally we're saying uh, probably we can insert in another theme here and uh, i don't know maybe whatever works here let's try to see what works here okay let's keep it at what we have and uh, probably we'll get see a much better look down there mm, let me work for us uh, is that better okay so we are actually saying well probably we could put marital status on the side of the columns and then put uh, put the number of cars so we are saying that uh, I maybe put out the house owner flag and uh, create a bigger picture so we're trying to say that out of our customers uh, we seem to have a uh, a very big number of uh, the customers coming from the bracket of those who do not own cars so if actually if you're doing uh let's talk about uh, a marketing commercial you probably want to tailor your commercial to target people who do not have cars more especially the marriage if if the marriage are doing well marriage without cars are doing well then you want to boost the sales of uh, of the singles and so you will want to tailor your advert uh to see that it actually increases sales with the singles then we are on a bigger picture we're seeing that uh, guys with no car one car two cars are doing well in terms of sales guys with three cars four cars are not our type of customers uh we could take that out and uh, uh talk about the yearly income okay this doesn't go well in a way uh but uh, probably let's to cut let's to cut down Let's look at, uh, at the total children. Do we have a relationship? Do we have a relationship? Yeah, we seem to have a relationship in terms of number of cars. Um, or maybe let's look at uh, let's look at it in terms of, uh, of the children. So we're saying that <coughs> guys without children are our best customers. Guys with uh, customers with one child. Uh, the next after those without children so in a way the more the children then the less are the purchases no, now you really want to understand the pattern and 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 this is a very good way to understand uh, this is a very good way to understand the kind of uh, uh, customers you're dealing with and it, it gives you the power to act accordingly we could also look at uh, at uh, the sales territory we can uh, we can move out of customers and then look at uh, at the territory itself we it's a very rich it's quite rich in uh, in analysis 
look at the sales territory uh, maybe in you know, territory as such you can start with the country and say we have higher sales coming from the u.s then uh, next is uh, australia we we need to boost our sales in canada and france and germany and the uk so there's information to get out of there meantime do not forget that uh, Actually, the table, the pivot table is also equally changing appropriately. We could uh, put up a little more design here, see what's coming up. I'll probably make it a little more fancy. And that side, and can keep it at that. Like this, maybe. Yeah, keep it at that. Uh, yep. Yeah. And uh, we could maybe want to also see how about in terms of product? How about in terms of product? Do we have a relationship on? On uh, what we put up here, what we put up here, we have a relationship on uh, on the sales size. Uh, maybe, maybe not. You can analyze that out further. So basically, what I'm trying to show is that you have instant reports anytime you want them, and it could be a cube for the marketing department. It could be a cube for the finance department. Uh, we can also put in currency we we, 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 we and we we'll get to deduce that most of our sales amount comes uh, in terms of US dollars or Australia or Canadian or do it or Dutch rather sorry and and, uh, and and probably the UK seems to be bringing out some amount of money uh, <coughs> that's all about a cube um, and how it works and I intend to keep this video quite short uh, but basically I hope you get a picture Thank you. Uh, bye.